All right, let's do another initial condition. Oh, this is the one we just did. Let's return to this example, which we actually studied last time. So the first part of this slide is, is a duplicate of what we did last time. I said, here's a non-homogeneous equation. Now, it's, only, it's, a, it's a linear equation, so you know, the computation here is not too bad. So a minus 3 times fn is 8 times 5 to the n. And so I said the function h0 equals 4 times 5 to the n is a particular solution. And as we talked about last time, how did I get that? I started with it. I started with 4 times 5 to the n and applied it a minus 3 times it and saw what the answer was. So I made up the equation backwards. But regardless, if you find a particular solution, then the general solution is the solution to the homogeneous case plus the particular one. Now, what is the homogeneous case? A minus 3 times Fn is 0. And we learned, we studied this and, and proved this exactly, that if you take a single factor, a minus r times fn, where r is not 0, then the solution is a one-dimensional vector space whose basis is r to the n. So that's the general solution. So I'm going to come back to your, your question. You see how I have to have a sum of the particular solution, the 4 times 5 to the n, plus the general solution. Now, general solution in this case just consists of one term because it's a one-dimensional vector space. If this were an eight-dimensional vector space, I'd have a particular function plus eight terms. OK, now the exercise is to find the solution to this non-homogeneous equation subject to an initial condition. And the initial condition here, I deliberately, maliciously chose f of 3 to be 118. I didn't take f of 0, I didn't take f of 1, I took f of 3. Just to illustrate that, that one value is, in this case is enough. So if you substitute in n equals 3 to that line, f of 3 is supposed to be 118, then you're going to have c1 times, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. it's, it's subject to f of 2 equals 118. So if you're making notes here, f of 2. I, actually, I started with 3, but the numbers were too big. So f of 2 is 118. So the, if, if, if it's f of 2 is 118, then this requires 118 is c1 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so that's 9c1 plus 4 times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25, 4 times 25 is 100. Uh, so it requires 9c1 plus 100 be 118, 9c1 is 18, c1 is 2. And, and you know that I started with the answer first and then made up the initial condition, except I, I honestly, I, I originally wanted f of 3, but f of 3 was 3 times 27, and I thought, you know, 3 times 27 is already 81. The number's going to get too big, so I went back to 2. All right. With that typo corrected, is this slide clear to you? Okay. Okay. You're not quite as glazed today. You seem to be getting this. <laughs> 